Welcome back to the channel folks, this is Shane. In today's video we're checking out the Rode PSA1. Public Service Announcement 1 Microphone Stand, or maybe it stands for Pro Stand Arm or something like that. Pro Studio Arm? Maybe that's what it stands for. I'm an idiot. Anyway, let's get into it. So we're going to do an unboxing, but I'm also using one right now with my Rode Procaster. So the audio that you're listening to is from this microphone being directly recorded. One of the reasons why I want to do this is just to show you that I actually use them. These weren't sent out for review or anything like that. I paid full price for this. And this is my new studio room. So I'm going to have a few of these set up. One on this side of the desk and one on this side of the desk for when I have guests. One of the best things about this microphone stand, look at this. Oh, I should say, listen to that. It's dead quiet when you move it, which is fantastic. I've got a lot of less expensive ones, which do the job absolutely from newer and a few other brands. But this one's much, much quieter, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to show you what we get in the box. And then I'm also going to show you some of the advantages that this one might have over some of the other ones out there. Again, this video is not sponsored. If you get some value out of it, please give it a thumbs up. Links to all this stuff will be in the description below. So let's open it up. If we take a look at the specs on the side of the box, it says we get a 360 degree rotation with the stand, which is fantastic. We get a maximum reach of 820 millimeters or 32.5 inches. That's horizontally, so this way. It also says it reaches 840 millimeters vertically, so up. That's really cool. That's a lot of reach from an, a boom arm, so that's fantastic. We get a three quarter eight inch thread adapter and it says it holds up to two kilograms, which is 4.4 pounds and it includes two desk mounting options. The first one is the one that I've got mounted on this desk because it was the least destructive. <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute as well. But I can absolutely see an advantage to having one that is mounted directly to the desk. So the first of the two mounting options is this. This just simply screws and tightens, or you can loosen it this way. So turning it right, is actually loosening it and turning it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, tightens it up and it'll just clamp onto the desk. It's soft padded on one side, so it won't damage the desk, at least not on this side. These are usually pretty good and being that you can wind them so tight, it will work even on thin glass tables as well, which is really cool. You can wind it all the way to pretty much not even enough space for about a quarter of my finger. So that should suit most circumstances, unless your desk is really, really small. You know, if it doesn't quite reach, you can put a piece of wood in there and then tighten it up and you'll be fine. So yeah, overall, this, this is what I'm using on the one on my desk right now, and it works great. The second way we can mount the microphone arm is with this. This is the destructive way of doing it, but also probably the most functional. This means you have to drill a hole in the desk, and this is quite long as well. So let me just check it on my desk. Woo, yep, so this is twice as thick as the top of this desk here, and you can probably see how thick it is from the front here on the camera view. So yeah, no problems there at all. And then you just simply pull the microphone arm out, out, of, the, um, out of the stand that it's already in, and you can plug it directly into this, plunk it down, and you'll be good to go. But you do have to drill a hole in the desk, unless you've already got one. <laughs> at least then you can have placement wherever you like on the desk. But for what I'm doing, as of right now, I'm not going to go put holes in my new desk so yeah not a chance but it's there if you so choose to use it maybe one day once i have the setup mastered and nailed and i'm 100 certain where i want to keep the stands i'll give it a go but yeah i don't know how many people will be using that and lastly we have the 3 8 inch adapter and this little screw thing goes in between the microphone clip and the mounting connection on the microphone stand so don't lose this odds are you'll need it now although you can see the boom arm in the main shot that is the last part of this so let's open this up and check it out now i just opened up uh the one that you're seeing just the other day and i gotta tell you i'm really impressed with the build quality i only opened one just in case i didn't like it i was thinking oh if it sucks i'll take it back but like most road stuff it's built really really well and in comparison to a lot of other options out there road have pretty much nailed that prosumer market and this is a professional mic stand, but there's some that will cost you even more. But I kind of like it. It Initially, it was a little bit on the big side, but you can move it wherever you like, move it out of shot. I could mount it, I should do that. I could mount it further up off the desk and have it at a lower angle if I so choose. But just for the sake of this video, I've got it in a really obvious placement. So this is the boom arm right here. It says, 
uh, caution spring loaded. Now, unlike, say, the newer ones, which uh, s the springs are sort of on the outside and you, you can physically see them, the spring mechanism on this one is quite a bit different. It always has tension on it. There's no way to tighten this axis here. It doesn't need to have anything tight on there because the weight of the microphone is what keeps it down. If I take the microphone up, it'll probably want to lift. <laughs> it'll probably want to lift up. So one of the cool things about this stand is as soon as you put the microphone on it, you have no problems with it. Another good thing about it too, Rode, it's just a simple little thing that makes a difference. We get some uh, cable management Velcro strips here as well as some placement for the cables. Now, ideally I could probably run the cable through here and then up and around, but it looks fine. It looks fine on camera. So that's how that's gonna stay for me. And it means I can easily take the cable off if I so choose or if I need to replace it. So for what I'm doing, this is gonna be fine. Now let's do a quick test and I'm just gonna extend the arm a little bit further. So that's with it at maximum extension. So as you can see, it's pretty long. <laughs> and that's with it at maximum height. So it's right above my head, which is crazy. So you can get a lot out of this. Now, what I'm gonna do is shut up for a second and just move it around and see if it makes any noise. Now I can see my audio levels on the screen here and I can't see it doing anything, which is fantastic. Little bit of noise coming through there, but not much, not enough to really be of any problem. And if you're running an expander or anything like that in your signal chain, you won't hear any of that whatsoever. So what do I think of the Rode PSA1? I like them. You're gonna see both of them hooked up on this desk, but I'm definitely not gonna be using the mount that goes directly onto the table. Now, if you're in a situation where this is exactly what you need. It's great to have this included. And down the track, like I mentioned, if you know, if I find like I'm always just leaving this set up exactly the same, I'll give this a shot. But once it's through, it's there for good. So just keep that in mind. If you've got a glass desk, you won't be able to use this unless you get that done professionally somehow. I don't even think you can cut glass like that. But in terms of uh, the wooden desks or anything else, this will definitely be the one to go for. And overall, it works really well. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this. I think it uh, it seems to be fine. As soon as you put a little bit of weight on there, as I said, it will then, oh, this way around, it will then just hold its own. It will extend up without any weight on the end. And it can hold up to two kilograms, as I mentioned earlier, which is perfect for any of these sort of professional or semi-professional podcasting microphones. Now, if you've got an SM7B or if you've got an Electro Voice microphone or any of these other mics, this will be fine as well. All it needs is a little bit of weight on there to keep it in place and then you can you can move it with your finger. It's actually really cool. So this is great. It means you're going to have a quiet experience if you're moving these on camera or if you're doing a podcast and you want to move it around or you know, face someone else or whatever, you can move it around accordingly without getting a lot of noise, which is great. Thanks for watching. Links will be below. Catch you soon. See ya.